Inferno Mobile Recording Studio is a project that got started by a team of teens at Marquette Park in summer 2005. Um, they were working with um, a teaching artist there who challenged them to come up with some ideas. And um, they came up with the idea to have a mobile recording studio go around and the tagline was making hot tracks all over Chicago. They were working with the School of the Art Institute with the Park District. I was learning to be a teacher at the time and finding that being in a classroom wasn't going to be the place for me. And so the opportunity to work with new media and children and have an effect that way, um, I jumped at it. We're teaching them um, how to interview, how to uh, audio record, signal flow, you know, what goes in the mic and how you capture that. And um, you know, they're really basic things to learn, but I think with the basic things that you have, that we have, um, give kids a real opportunity that you don't see afforded to them. Throwing away, Let's so get I'm gonna it. put them together and see if I can put a little flavor on Let's it. Get on. Uh, okay, my Let's name get is Blank, and when I come to camp, I come to have fun and be the best. Stay number one and be MVP. Oh, I like fine. basketball. I stole from him. <laughs> that was a good one, though. That was a good one. That was a good one. one. You should come and keep my on My name doing is Kylie. You know I don't play, so this not yours. <laughs> Your name Kwame. This is about Kylie. Kwame. And you know I don't play, so get out my way. My park is the main <laughs> run. You know we don't play. And if you play with us, you're going to be okay. Oh, no, okay. Kylie. <laughs> brings the public and artists together in public spaces to explore possibilities for creativity together. So in the same way that you have sports happening in outdoor spaces and people can engage with that or get involved in the game or uh, get trained in how to do a sport, we do a similar thing where we assemble a team or we use a space to explore sound and to explore uh, art and creativity in those same public spaces. So that's important to Chicago because not everybody engages in the same kind of recreation. Inferno has allowed me and the artists and documentarians that have worked with Inferno to go to a large number of diverse communities all across the city and to create with them and collaborate with them and uh, yeah have really meaningful creative moments together with people that you otherwise might not meet. So in the summertime we we gather artists together we gather six artists together uh, and then we embed them with different park programs. So for example, we'll send two or three artists out to do sessions with gay campers in the Chicago Park District. Then we'll send a couple of artists out with uh, therapeutic recreation or special needs folks to do sessions with them all summer. Or we'll send an artist or two to collaborate with the TRACE program, uh, another Chicago Park District program that works with teens in kind of a creative, uh, ad activism hey, uh, hey, format. So up. yeah, we send these artists out what? to do uh, hey, sessions hey. with these groups in the parks, and then they assemble uh, a few up. pieces what? of art based on material. Uh, Eleven and twelve girls, give me one. Give me two. Give me three. Up in the 
RP, what we gon' see, see the boys out here, and they playing in the trees, touching leaves, and the stun say heat up every day in the heat, short sleeves. Now it's 
you know, a worldwide phenomenon where if you as a youth make up a dance, somebody around the world is going to want to do that dance real soon. Like, so let's, let's, let's hone in the fact that you're a producer. You don't have to just buy everything. You can make it. Listen, why me? Sometimes I lay under the moon and I thank God that I'm breathing. Then I pray, don't take me soon because I'm here for a reason. Sometimes in my tears I drown, but I never let it get me down. So when negativity surrounds, I know someday it'll all turn around. Because all my life I've been waiting for, I've been praying for, for the people to say that they don't want to fall.